What's God's dream for your life? <laughs> What's up, Divine Fam? My name is Chungman. Welcome to today's Divine 5 at 5, where we talk about how we grow in our divine faith, family, fitness, focus, and finances from the biblical perspective. Today is Fund Friday, so we're going to be talking about how we grow in our divine finances from the biblical perspective. Proverbs 31 is an incredible chapter in the Bible that describes a woman of noble character. And in Proverbs chapter 31 verse 16, the word of God says she considers a field and buys it. Then with the fruit of her hands, she plants a vineyard. What a boss lady (laughs) she's a boss she walks around the town imagine a woman walking around town and she sees a field she buys it and then she gets down and dirty she's ready to work and she plants a vineyard and makes it a land that prospers and is of value to the community so i want to encourage you and inspire you with this incredible Bible verse. Let's take example of this woman of noble character. How can we start to consider a a piece of land, buy it, and make it something of value so other people could be blessed by it? And we can start small. Maybe we could even start in our backyard, our garage, you know, the rooms we have, the things we have to, to use what we got and make it of something of value for others. And this is an amazing biblical principle that we're given by this woman of noble character. One day, one of my dreams is that I'll wake up and my wife would be like, honey, I saw this piece of land. I bought it. And now we're going to grow tomatoes. Yay! <laughs> oh, have you guys heard about the story of VeggieTales? They wanted, they wanted kids to eat veggies. Um, and before, they were going to be like candies. And uh, I think they said, you know what? We don't want to have kids love candy so much already kids are already crazy about candy so they made veggie tails but it had an opposite effect because a lot of the kids they didn't want to eat their friends (laughs) but anyways oh going back to the main point pay attention guys come on (laughs) let's consider a field see the potential of what it could produce and let it provide value for the community But we don't have to take that literally. We could think about how can we use our garage or our backyard or even the things that we have to invest in those things so it could produce something of value to bless the community. So let's remember Proverbs 31, 16. Take example from this woman of noble character where the word of God says that she considered a field. She bought it. And from the fruit of her hands, she plants a vineyard. What will be your vineyard? I encourage you all to continue to shine a divine and live God's dream! Live God's dream, yeah!